Panthers pick on the clock. The Carolina Panthers select Trevin Wallace, linebacker, Kentucky. Okay, they got a linebacker, Trevin Wallace, Kentucky. Round three picks. Carolina Panthers. 6'1", 237 pounds. 73 tackles. 5.5 sacks. 2023. Nice. Uh, selections of young guns to flank. Bryce and company. So I think that the Panthers are going to be pretty uh, proud of this pick. I don't think it's going to be like, oh my God, what happened from round one to round two. I think we uh, have seen some pretty good acquirements. Detroit and here is the Cowboy selection on the clock here we go. Okay, Cooper and BB, Kansas State. Guard. So we'll see exactly how this goes. 322 pounds, 6'3. He's going to be a guard in the NFL. He's played that spot. He's going to be a kid who's 6'3 and a quarter, 322 pounds. Short arms. He's going to be inside a guard. Not 5'03. Not the best athlete out there, but he gets. It done blocking in space on a pretty regular basis. Drives defenders off the ball. Skill blocks. He's excellent. And pass protection for him. On the outside, he would struggle. Inside, has been mitigated. Nice job to his technique. He can anchor. He's strong. And he gets after Cooper Phoebe, I think, is a starting guard in the NFL. I think it's a really good pick for the Dallas Cowboys. Something that I think we're considering him in the second round, at least based on the conversations I had. Cooper Phoebe, you get Tyler Guyton. I said earlier, three offensive linemen should be drafted by the Cowboys. Now they have at least two. They may have had another one at some point. She got the tackle and got a guy. You got a guard and Cooper B. I was just saying, the only thing you worry about a little bit, those 31 and a half yeah. inch arms. When he went up against Darius Robinson in Missouri, he got after him a little bit. That length got to him. But yeah, you put him inside, he's going to fight you to death. Okay, it seems like everybody is pretty happy about this pick. We got Jerry Jones in the Cowboys draft room, the war room, and then he's on the phone. Up next, we have on the clock the Atlanta Falcons for their selections. Here we go. With the 74th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Braylon Trice, linebacker, Washington. Okay, they got a linebacker, Falcons, Braylon Trice, coming out of Washington. Braylon Trice drew a lot of mixed opinion. Yes. And that's the big book. You saw him and you say, okay, he could be maybe a late one or early two. He's now he's in the third round. Why? Because that was the case throughout the whole evaluation process of Braylon Trice. Yes, he got pressure. Finishing at the NFL level. Plays a little high. Think about his production overall was pretty good. But again, the inconsistency. Trying to project him to the next level. He had some games where he dominated. So we're going to see how this acquirement is going to be here for the Panthers. They should be feeling pretty good, though. As well as the Panthers should be feeling pretty good. We can see the requirements of the Falcons should be pretty good. The Chargers should be feeling pretty good. Um, Cardinals should be feeling pretty good. Uh, we're going to see all eyes on what's happening with Jacksonville soon, uh, how they'll feel. Um, but right now, uh, the Atlanta Falcons should feel pretty good with their requirements as well. Okay, 
And I think that, again, is another culture type of builder. Yeah. When I think of the way he plays, the motor he plays with. But hey, they may have got something here in the third round with him. Maybe they did address the pass rush. Well, the eye discipline against the run for Tifa. We'll see. The Chicago Bears made the first pick of this draft. They'll make the next one when we come back to Detroit in just a moment. So y'all keep it locked. Okay, here we go. We have more draft talk here. In the 2024 NFL draft, the Chicago Bears Bears. Amagazi tackle out of Yale. Okay, Amagazi. Yale. Bears. Bears should be able to make some pretty good noise this coming season. We'll see how that goes, everybody. So, Bears, how y'all feel about these requirements? We're going to be going to see how the team feels on all of this once the night is done. And then between now, TGIF and TGI Sun, which is Sunday, you know, we're getting those POVs and see how everybody is feeling but i think the requirements are pretty good uh for the bears we're inside the war room with uh the bears draft room and everybody seems to be pretty good uh on this requirement uh up next we got the broncos their picks are in you know all eyes on broncos ever since you're gonna have uh russell wilson over for qb with the Steelers. So here we go. Broncos. On behalf of the Walton Painter Family Ownership Group and my former owner, Pro Football Hall of Famer, Pat Bowling, and the legendary Bronco players I played with, Champ Bailey, Al Wilson, John Lynch, Jason Elam, Matt the Hawk Prater, and the greatest undrafted wide receiver in NFL history, Rod Smith, the world's greatest fans, super fan, Alan Levine Jones, who we lost recently, rest in peace, Bronco Betty, my coach, Mike Shanahan, put Mike Shanahan in the Hall of Fame! Oh my goodness, he all over the place. God bless with the 76 pick. Here we go with the picks. All right, Jonah Ellis, Utah. The pick is in. Utah. We'll see how that goes. Let's take a look at them stats. 2023 consensus All American. And he's very active with his hands. Knows how to use them to get that advantage over the offensive tackle. He disengages from blocks in fast fashion. Tremendous motor. He's got bend. He closes. He catches offensive line and leaning him. He beats him with that spin move. Uh, 2023 first team all pack 12. And the stats, he had a career high 12 sacks. So we'll see how he fits in with. Uh, he did it on a consistent basis. He doesn't, as a guy, great measurable. With the Denver Broncos. Stay locked. The Las Vegas Raiders select. Raiders. Damar Glaze. DT. Maryland. For the Raiders. 6'4, 315 pounds. Did really good at the combine. 2023 third team all in the Big Ten. Okay, coming out of Maryland. Merlin. 2022 honorable mention in the Big Ten. 40 career games played and he started. Now we also got a trade alert. Trade alert coming in here from the Philadelphia Eagles. That's going to be in about two minutes, two minutes, 23 seconds. We're going to see how that goes. This is round three. Round three. We got another trade pick coming in. Texans. 
Okay, and their picks remaining at six for the Texans in about two minutes and 09. In the war room in the Raiders draft room, everybody's feeling pretty good. We got a lot of fist bumps there. So they should be feel, feeling pretty good about that, so keep it up. Okay, so there was the trade I was talking about. We got Kalen Bullock, USC safety. All right, Texans. The pick is in. All right, 2023, first time team pack 12. Okay, so we got some solidness here. Kalen Bullock. So this is another good look here for the Titans. Titans should be uh, pretty pleased with this look here. And uh, he did pretty good at the combine. On the clock. Just to let you know, the Cardinals are coming on the clock at about 3.30 and some change. And they got that trade pick in. But yeah, Houston selections have been good. Round 2, round 2, round 3. Pick 42, 59, and 78. Texans. Uh, Texans look pretty good in their draft room. Everybody feels pretty good. Uh, lots of smiles, lots of good acquirement there. So we love to see it. We love to see it. Okay, we also got the Colts pick that's coming in too. So that's coming right now. Zaire Franklin Colts linebacker selection for the Colts. All right, they got a tackle. Matt Gonzalez, Pittsburgh. Okay, so they're getting their key pieces coming together, like I said before, for the. Cardinals, okay. He's 6'6", 327 pounds. Now, for a lot of you, like, oh my God. He did miss them five or nine games there. Uh, I think there was a toe injury for 2023 season. 2023, though, team captain, Goncalves. So we'll see uh, what he does. Um, yeah, I don't think he can play tackle. I think he's going to kick inside. And kind of to to Coast Country. We'll see what he does. All right. Bengals are going to be on the clock here. And their pick is in. And we're going to see what they do. Um, and they have eight remaining picks. And they finished last in the AFC. No playoff run. So, yeah, they got to get this thing together there. And then, you know, um, they did a lot of trade outs. So we'll just have to see um, what they do because they're definitely in trying to what you would say combine the pieces to get themselves back in position. So here we go, Bengals on the clock. Keep it locked with me, BB Davis from BB Love Sports. the Bengals will make the next pick. Bengals, Jim, and all my Bengals fans up there, what's up? So this pick means this pick means something to me as I've been training this kid for a long time. Okay. And now he's going to be drafted. By We're getting Bengals some backstory. So come on, Bengals. Let's see what's up. 2024 NFL Draft. The Cincinnati Bengals select Jermaine Burton, wide receiver, Alabama. Bama. So that's a good look there, Jermaine Burton. Y'all should feel pretty good about that, Bengals wide receiver. Okay, because he's nice and easy with it. Nice and easy with it, okay? Six feet, 196 pounds. Jermaine Burton coming from Bama. We know Coach Saban is in the house. So, uh, I think this is really good. This is a really good look here, everybody. Jermaine Burton, Jermaine Burton. All right, so we're going to be checking in with some more of the contributors and see what they're hearing out there in NFL draft land. I'm B.B. Davis from B.B. Love Sports. The sports the game is exquisite. Future show. So you know what it is. We're live here. Keep it locked. All right, Seattle Seahawks. The pick is in. And what I love, they're flanked on stage by flag football. 
those who played flag football like myself, I played in junior high school, and we had fought hard to get that done back then because it wasn't really a big thing. And we're talking like um, 82, 83, 84. So it's good to see the girls play flag football. And they will be showcasing that too. So here's a selection. Christian Haynes from UConn. So oh, here's a good acquirement here. Okay. Two times. All American, 22-23. Third UConn player to earn all American honors. Let's lock down these stats, shall we? <laughs> Love it. And he finished career with 49 straight starts. So this is a really good acquirement there for the Seattle Seahawks. We love to see it. So Seattle, y'all should feel pretty good about this and these third round picks here. So we're now in the war room of the Seattle draft room. And everybody feels pretty good. Got a lot of claps. Everybody standing ovations. Up next, here we have the Cardinals. The Arizona Cardinals select Tip Ryman. Tight end. Tight end Tip Ryman. Okay, from Illinois. All right. He's 6'4, 271 pounds. Okay, team captain 2023 for Illinois. Tip. Remen. Three time academic. All Big Ten. So they should feel pretty good about this. He had 203 in receiving yards, three TDs. 41 in receiving, 420 receiving yards, and 5 TDs careers. So Cardinals have been putting in that work there. So we'll be talking about it. Go Cardinals. Cardinals war room. The draft room looks pretty good. Everybody feels pretty good about it. So uh, there's a requirement. Go Cardinals. Pick is in LA Rams. They come up next. We're going to see what this one is about. Again, we'll be going over all of the picks between TGIF and TGI Sun. So that's between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Los Angeles Rams. Isabella Bruce, 14 years old, eighth grader, state qualifier in the four by one hundred. Yes, very nice. And with the 83rd pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. Here we go. The two-time Super Bowl champion, Los Angeles Rams. <laughs> Had to get that in. Michigan, another Michigan at a running back, Blake Corum. All right. And there's a fab. Everybody's going in in house. <laughs> All right. Yes. There it is. And they're happy about this one. Good old running back, Blake Carr, Michigan, 5'7", in the 200 pounds. National championship offensive. He got MVP on that one. How about that? 
Okay. And then uh, unanimous first team all American. So yeah, that was a big wahoo there. They're happy about that. So to the Rams. And the Ram has a ring. They have rings. So this is gonna be a very interesting season here. Nice work there, Rams. Nice work. Keep it locked there, buddy. Michigan is on fire. All right, so we got Steeler. Steelers on the clock. Steelers pick is in. And we're going to see how this goes. We're going to take a break after this one. And we'll come back with some more highlights. With the 84th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Roman Roman Wilson, wide receiver, Michigan. Y'all better take good looks at second and third looks at the Pittsburgh Steelers because they try to get everything solid to surround dangerous Wilson. Okay, Michigan. Okay, 5'10", about 185 pounds. Coming from Michigan. Michigan is all over this draft, baby. And y'all know they are. Oh, that class was amazing, 15 to 0. And he's nice with it, with the nice routes and the runs. Able to do that good communication with the quarterback. And just getting it in. Reading the room. Reading that field. And even in traffic, catch the TD. Now, there you go. Nice with it. Nice with it. Terrible tiles. Y'all wave them. Because this is a good pick, too. Adding to the roster. I love to see it. So y'all know what it is. Stay locked in. Packers selection. I'm BB Davis. Here we go. Linebacker Tyron Hopper from Missouri. Solid pick. I don't know what's going on with the booze, but that, that's because they know. That threat is coming with these young guns. All right. SEC. Second team in the SEC. Three sacks, career high, 2023. I don't think he felt on that in 2022. Then injured late in November. So 133 tacos, 5.5 sacks. So Green Bay, they got some really good picks here. Solid to already add to a clutch team into the love era. So we love to see that. Right. Okay, Buccaneers. Pick is in. Here we go. Jalen McMillan from Washington, wide receiver. The pick is in. In high school, I had D1 offers, but chose football, and now here he is. One of my more underrated players. He was on that uh, next best available list. Those coming off now. Finally, Jalen McMillan, 6'1", 197. Huge hands. Red third, I thought. I thought 45 in receiving, 530 receiving yards, 5 TDs. Nice and solid there for the Buccaneers. Welcome to Hillsborough County. Route runner. He tracks the ball well, catches the ball away from his body. And he has some good rhythm there, too, in his disposition. Okay. He had 40-yard dash in 2024. Combine, he ran 47, 40-yard dash. Okay, so we love to see it. So, Tampa Bay is gathering their draft picks accordingly. I don't see anything not solid. So go Buccaneers, go Bucks. They're in the war room and the uh, draft room, and everybody's feel pretty good, clapping and getting things together. I still 
have my own feelings about the QB, but here we go. Okay, we got the pickers in up next from Baltimore. Baltimore will be coming up next. Let's keep it locked. Here we go at Baltimore. Keep it locked. What's up, Detroit? Back up. I'm here with my sons, Sam, Max, and Cole. They were all born in Baltimore. And they were all raised. They were all raised to say one thing. Steelers Oh, good. my goodness gracious. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Adisa Isaac, Penn State linebacker family is right there showing love on the live stream. Those 33 inch arms. The key only ran 474 in the 40, which finally knocked him down. It's first play in football. It's always good to see those dreams come true. So Adisa Isaac, Penn State, 6'4, 247 pounds. Okay, second team in Big Ten for 2023. And he is a master blaster, so he's going to fit right in good uh, with the Baltimore Ravens. Okay, 75, why? 7.5 sacks. Third in the Big Ten. Uh, 2023, 15.5. TFL, that's the most in the Big Ten. I think they're going to develop him very well. Family is happy. Everybody's enjoying themselves. And uh, I think this is going to be a wonderful vibe here. Love to see the family. Show that love. The sister is sitting there straight chilling. <laughs> that looks like the sister. Good acquirement there by the Ravens. Okay, round one, round two, round three. And up next on the clock is the Philadelphia Eagles. Y'all know this is my house divided. I got to check in with everybody to see how they feeling. Well, 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 in the Dell, Jalen, Jalix, not Jalen, Jalix Hunt, Houston, Christian School, he did 46 tackles, whoosh, 6.5 sacks, oh, he's solid, he's very solid, this is 2023. And can't get at him. Do y'all see his stats? Oh my goodness. He did a four six four in the forty yard dash at the combine. Okay, so the uh acquirement for the Philadelphia Eagles and their selections for the draft twenty twenty four has been really, really good. So we definitely love to see it. Go Eagles. Eagles war room. They show it a cutaway to that. Everybody looks really good. Everybody feels pretty good about that. You know, the Eagles already got a solidness. They went undefeated last season, but then just couldn't make it in. Um, the dissemination just was rough. The descent was crazy. Uh, but new season coming. All right, Bills Mafia up next. Buffalo Bills. Dwayne Carter coming in from Duke. All right. Not bad. Let's go see what's going on with Dwayne. 
All right, y'all know I love me some Duke. Six two, okay, three zero two. Three time team captain, okay, from twenty uh twenty one to twenty three. Now that's a nice look there. Okay, and uh in twenty twenty three, first team in the all ACC. Okay, just running through traffic like it ain't nothing. So I think that's going to be a really good acquirement there for Bills Mafia. All right. They're round two picks to the round three picks. It's going to be something to see there. Go Bills. Bills giving fist bumps up in their war room, in their draft room, looking good in there. I still would love to see more women up in the uh, draft room try to make that happen. You know, I'm all about women in sports, women in empowerment, and making that happen. That would be really nice, okay? But how about them Jaguars? They jamming. You got a lot of people out there. They got the good entertainment happening there in Detroit. People got their gear on. I mean, you got some dead tacated fast. So y'all know what to do. Keep it locked. Detroit. We have a selection for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Live in Detroit. Jerry and Jones coming from Florida State. Cornerback. 5'11". So this is a nice acquirement there by the Jaguars. So 25 tackles in the 23 season. Five interceptions, 54 tackles. So this is a solid pick here. In the third round. As we round out the third round, we want to thank everybody for locking in with us. Love these acquirements that everybody's doing. We are get a feel for what the fans are saying with their POVs of the acquirements. And it's good from round one draft results. Round two draft results, and of course, we have round three draft results. And then on Saturday, we are start all over again. Okay, so up next, the pick is in for the. <sighs> okay. Bengals. Texas A&M, McKinley Jackson. Texas A&M. This is a nice, solid draft that the Bengals are putting on, especially after trading off some of their good scores. Okay, he had a career high with uh, three sacks and eight TFL for his 2023 career. This is McKinley Jackson to the Bengals. He was 2020 freshman all SEC. Okay, and then he did good at the combine with those numbers. So, Cincinnati. They have been doing a nice uh, selection there and putting the pieces together to look forward to a good season. All right. So keep it locked, everybody. Steelers on the clock. With the 98th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Peyton Wilson, linebacker. 
Another linebacker for Dangerous Wilson, Peyton Wilson, North Carolina State in house. That's Wolfpack. All right. Now, he has some injury going on here. ACL and all that other things that he has, but he is solid when it's ready to go and when he's in tip shape. So he goes to uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, and this is going to be something else. He's coming into the Elite Ball Club with rings, even though they haven't won in a long time. But then you got the acquirement of Russell Wilson as QB. You got all other components, a great coach, Mike Tomlin, there. So, you know, he's an award winner for best defensive player. In 2023, unanimous All-American 2023, Peyton Wilson. And this is the 98th pick for the NFL Draft Round 3. How do y'all feel out there? Pittsburgh Steelers. They have totally revamped that defense. Made it so much faster and so physical. There's nothing this guy couldn't do. Heck, he was lining up in some of their structures as a 3-4 outside backer because he's got that kind of length. If he can stay healthy, the risk reward here is in the favor of the Steelers. This is awesome. Here come the Rams. Here come the Rams. All right, they got a defensive back, Cameron Kitchens, Miami. Now watch these highlights. If you're watching it, you're going to go back and go through the reels. He was two-time. All American ACC. 54 tackles. Five interceptions. Beasted out there. So that's a good acquirement. 11 interceptions in the last two seasons. Most in the FBS. There you go. Kabuya. Cameron Kitchens. And he's off. To the Los Angeles Rams. Okay, now here's the alert. Washington. Woo, what are they going to do? In the 2024 NFL Draft, the Washington Commanders select Luke McCaffrey. Wide receiver, Rice. Okay, they did not do the quarterback dance. They did wide receiver, Luke McCaffrey. All right, from Rice. So let's go see what's happening right here. Okay, taking a look at what he was doing. Okay. First team in AAC in 2023. Seven in receiving. Nice yardage. 13 TDs. Hey, that means you get put that ball in his hands and he going to the end zone, baby. Woo! And that's exactly what the commanders are needing. You can believe that. I mean, he going up through traffic and still manages to get up in the end zone. Quick on his feet. Good communication he has there. All right. So Washington commanders, keep an eye on them because they got some good acquirements there. No doubt about it. So, I thought this was a really great round two. In the wonderful city of Detroit Motor City. And um, I look forward to coming back to Detroit 
It's always a pleasure. So third round is done and done, everybody. So we got to come on back. We'll do it all again on tomorrow as the draft continues. A lot more dreams to come true. I thought it, this was a pretty interesting night with everything uh, that we're seeing. I think a lot of people were shocked at uh, how, and I don't know why that's like the hour, the power of, did anybody draft a QB? I mean, the QB zone right now in the NFL is pretty nice and clutch and solid. So you just want to get the key pieces uh, to them to make them be formidable, uh, trying to get on up to a great season, get on up into the playoffs, get on up into the championships, and see their way to the Super Bowl dance. We see a lot of great highlights there coming from Michigan. Uh, Michigan is like the new, new uh, of where Alabama was because, you know, Michigan had uh, went 15-0. and 0, So, you know, every scout for all these teams were going to acquire or uh, try as much as they could to acquire somebody from Michigan. Well, that's all I got, everybody. I, that is all I got. Until I do my POVs and then we're going to be seeing how everybody feels and the comments and bring that to for fruition to you all on tomorrow. I'm tapped out. Thank you so much for locking in. Thank you for letting me be myself. Congratulations to everybody. Lives have been changed from all levels. So you know what to do. Stay locked in with me. BB Davis, BB Love Sports.